several of the gun control measures approved by the Senate now head to the governor's desk for his signature. But it's unclear whether he will sign them, and the assembly still has to consider several other measures. Joining me now from Trenton is Assemblyman John Bramnick. Sir, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Desiree. So tell me your thoughts about the fate of some of these gun control measures that are now in the assembly. Do you, will, they, will there be enough support for them? Well, I can't speak as to uh, wh where the governor is. I can tell you that we voted on most of those bills, and the record's clear as to uh, most of the Republicans thought many of the bills were either duplicitous of what we've already had or uh, were bills that weren't going to help the situation involving crime in the state. And, some, and there were some bills that were voted yes. So it's a mixed bag. What about uh, Senate President Stephen Sweeney's bill calling for the centerpiece of it, calling for instant background checks? Will that get any support? Well, we haven't seen it yet, actually. It hasn't come over to our house. We haven't voted on it. We haven't had a caucus on it. So as soon as uh, we get that final bill, uh, you know, I'm certainly ready to come back on the show and talk to you, but we, we haven't seen it. Are there any technical I've read in the issues? paper, but yeah. that was it. Okay. Uh, no, some have, yeah, express whether this is technically feasible. Well, the answer is I don't know, because we haven't studied that bill in our house yet. It was a Steve Sweeney bill, and, and we, we haven't examined it. Uh, it's a little early for us to comment on it. Okay. Let's switch to Rutgers. Certainly, that controversy has not gone away. Um, a host of lawmakers are weighing in on this issue. Um, what are your thoughts, sir? Uh, Governor Christie was silent for a little while. Now he recently came forward, um, said he expressed some confidence in uh, the Rutgers president, uh, Robert Barchi, but there are other lawmakers who say he should be out. What are your thoughts, sir? Well, I'm not sure I want to micromanage how Rutgers makes decisions or each decision that they make. Uh, we'd have to spend all our time over on the Rutgers campus. You know, what you read in the newspaper, in my judgment, is not enough to make a determination on how to proceed. That's why I'm going to leave it up to Rutgers to do it. And to have hearings, to me, is jumping the gun. I mean, legislators many times want to have hearings, sometimes because they want to get in front of the camera, they want their names in the paper. But to me, uh, Dr. Barchi is someone who has all of the intelligence and know-how how to make a decision. It's way too early for us to weigh in on that. Well, it is election season, at least the primary, so some would uh, argue that for some lawmakers, maybe it's an opportunity for them to uh, voice their opinion on this issue. But aside from that, um, there are also reports that some staff at the Rutgers Athletic Department have expressed some concerns about um, the new athletic director, Julie Herman. Well, you know, that's my concern. I don't know if you've ever been in the newspaper, your name's been in the newspaper, but what we're seeing is reports. And if I, either as a juror or as a lawyer or as an investigator, had all of the material in front of me and I was the president of the university, I can make a decision. I'm one of 120 legislators. And what, what are we going to do? Wait for each of 120 legislators to weigh in on something they have lim limited information about? Let's let Rutgers do their job, make the decision. And after it's all done, if people want to make a comment, make a comment. Okay, very quickly before you let, we let you go, sir, any surprises in the primary election Tuesday? Uh, I expect the people on the Republican line, uh, in terms of our statewide races, our legislative races, to win. And I also expect in the general election for the Republicans to actually take the majority in both houses. So that's the surprise you're going to see in November. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Desiree.